Now we are going to write here. Okay, it's a tyrosine. When you have a tyrosine hybrid, the double bond is the bonds connected to here. So you could move this. Then you upside down, this will become like this. And then you go here, you have CH2. This OH will be here. C H C O O H and N H two. What is this guy? This is di tyrosine. This happened when though at more than two hundred degrees Celsius frying will become very elastic. Uh, elastic. There is a traditional Chinese pro product like that, which is with mixed with mixed congee, could be as a breakfast. In the McDonald's, there is a, some products like that, the dough products like that, before the pandemic, very short period of time, about like three months. So I remember in, a, in several McDonald's in the Pittsburgh area, there's a, a, some Chinese community there, they, they go to buy it, and they, they sold out every day very quick, quick. So then they put the timeline, which is usually 7 o'clock and to 9 o'clock in the morning, they sell it, and after that, it's all gone. So this is just give an example. For the dove, the diet tyrosine, it is um, <coughs> oxidizing products, but this is actually really good because it gives you elasticity. So that's really uh, helps you for that. Okay? So uh, this is kind of very boring, but uh, if you know the other structure of these amino acids, then you know they're going to be have several of the reaction will be happen. We're using the uh, nonhydrine to testing for amino acids. Then in the food products, very often we have a weak alkaline solution with extended heating will generate uh, uh, the reaction called racemization will generate a DHA, which is dihydrogen alanine. The dihydrogen alanine is not a good product because they will contribute for the crossing linking. And the crossing linking, especially with uh, epsilon amino acids like lysine, they will generate lysianoalanine, which is ALAL, and we didn't recognize it. This is why they use this in lots of the products, and the amount is not really minimized. It's huge. But milk powder is the only one who does not have it. That tells you some of the products we not uh, um, recommend you to do the heating, especially extended heating. Then we talk about these oxidizing agents because they're widely used. When the oxidizing, uh, typically what we find is methionine, is cysteine, and also cysteine. Okay, this is cysteine. Because all these have a sulfide group. The sulfide group, uh, we say it's been charged. Some textbooks say, say that they are not charged. Because of the possible uh, the debate about that, it's a very active uh, chemical. They could be working with the uh, oxidizing reagent and generate these uh, primary, secondary, or finally a very st stable oxidizing chemical. That's not biological available to be using. So we give you some of the examples. But we say the oxidizing is not always bad because we have adult products, actually, the, Dietarosine generate, which is contribute to the to the uh, taste and feeding. Okay, so th this is all we have for this class.